Hey guys and welcome back to Vacation Vibes. It's your girl, Vanessa, at home. It's ghetto. I have to use my own beach towel. And I miss the Lido deck. Today I'm here to answer a question that I posed to you in my very first video from my last solo cruise series. How much did this solo cruise cost me? A lot of you guys came back and wanted to know the answer, so here we are. out that I paid less for this solo cruise than I have paid for my half of any other cruise I've ever booked before. Now before I get started I just want to tell you that I will only be detailing my cruise fare in this video so I will not be talking about airfare, ground transportation, my sell and sign, account bill, or excursions. If you would like a more comprehensive video detailing the cost of that to help you budget for your next cruise please let me know in the comments down below we here let's get started okay so the first thing I feel like we need to talk about is how the solo cruising pricing work the first thing that you need to know is that to cruise solo and you get a regular cabin you do have to pay double occupancy meaning if the website says this cruise is starting at 250 that means that you will be paying $500 double occupancy plus taxes and port fees However, you only have to pay taxes and port fees for one person. Some ships also come equipped with solo cabins that have their own pricing. However, a lot of the times this price is about the same as a double the occupancy or sometimes even more. And that is due to scarcity of the cabins. If a ship has solo cabins, they don't have very many and they tend to go fast. I need some lip gloss because it is hot and my lips are crispy crunchy. Let's talk about the regular factors in your cruise fare pricing um, that worked out to my advantage before I get to the price of my cruise. And I know we're dying to get there, but I just need you to stay with me here. So the regular factors that might affect your cruise fare are working with a private vacation planner. In this case, let's talk about Carnival. They have their PVPs uh, that work exclusively with Carnival to help you plan your vacation and give you the best rates. They are brand loyal. However, they are free to use and they are there to make sure you find the best rates and when a sale comes out, they're the first to know. The vacation planner that I work with, his name is Brian Lopez and we've been working together for quite a while. Oftentimes when you get a vacation planner, you stick with that one vacation planner, which is nice because you get to know them, they get to know you and they know your cruising style. So when big sales pop up, Brian gave me a call. If you would like Brian's information, his phone number plus extension and his Facebook group will be in the comments down below. Okay y'all, I need to hurry up because my edge control is on borrowed time out here in this Georgia heat, so let's get to it. Besides uh, working with your vacation planner, another important thing is cruise loyalty points. Those cruise loyalty points not only give you perks on board, but they open you up to deals that people who have not accrued any points or as many points as you, um, which gives you some exclusivity. Every cruise costs different for every person who tries to book. If I book a cruise, my friend Deja can book the exact same cruise and we'll have two different prices because we have a different amount of loyalty points with Carnival per se. With Carnival, those are your BIFP, very important fun person points, and you get one for every day that you cruise with Carnival. Now, when you are booking a cruise and you see the price in front of you, you want to make sure you're logged into the website because then the prices might change. And when you go through the booking process online, you'll see that there are other deals that might include some onboard credit or reduced deposits and if you do not know how to find these deals yourself that's where your vacation planner comes in handy something else that you can do if you're not finding the deals that you feel comfortable with is checking the sites all the time I am on the website like it's my job checking for deals almost every single day for various different cruise lines because I know that from day to day there might be a flash sale waiting for me and I don't want to miss out all four of these factors came together in one perfect storm for me to get the best rate I possibly could have for this solo cruise. All right, so are we ready to find out how much I paid for this cruise? Drum roll, please. Dang, now I gotta find the drum roll sound to put in this video. 
video. Okay, the splish splashers are getting a little loud over there. Let's talk over here. All right, so I spent a total of $374.86. My cruise was a six day cruise aboard the Carnival Horizon and I got an interior room on deck nine. Not a bad location at the Ford of the ship. Okay, so let's break it down. The cruise rate was $230. That would be the double occupancy rate, meaning that per person it was $115 on the website. Plus my taxes, my taxes fees and port expenses, $144.86. Now had someone booked along with me, that is the extra amount that they would have spent. Now had I had somebody book the cruise with me in my room, then our total would have been $519.72 because of the double taxes and port fees. On top of all that, if you look at the bottom of the screenshot that I have on screen for you, you'll see onboard credit. Now that is a kicker. If I subtract that onboard credit from my cruise fare, that means that really I've only spent $175 on this cruise because I have an extra 200 that I would actually spend on board going towards my cruise. So now that we know how much I spent on this cruise, you are about to click off this video. And if that is you, then I need you to sit down and finish the videos. Only a couple more minutes and it really helps out the channel when you finish the videos. <sighs> if you're here to be nosy, I understand, but I have a few more things to tell you, okay? Okay. Now let's, let's finish the video as a family. All right, so now that we know how much I spent on this cruise, I have to say that that was an amazing, amazing deal. Now, if you remember in the last video from the series, I did mention that that was supposed to be a cruise, a couple's cruise, and it was. And I was able to find the exact same itinerary for this much lower price. Originally, we got a great deal on the couple's cruise as well. As a couple, we booked it for about a thousand, for a thousand fifty-four dollars, and I thought we were balling out then. I could have spent half as much if that boyfriend would have survived the relationship, his loss. All right, so there it is. There you go. Quick and painless. If you have questions on how to find deals, what else I spent on excursions, on airfare, how I find deals on that, please leave it in the comments down below. I'm happy to help. If you want to reach out to a carnival vacation planner such as Brian. His information is down in the description. I don't get anything for telling you that. I just want to connect good people with other good people. And that is all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching guys. If this video helped you out, please subscribe. Please hit the bell for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up because it really helps out my channel get out to more amazing best friends just like yourself. Okay guys. It's a beautiful day here in Georgia. I'm getting in the pool. Bye. Next time on Vacation Vibes, I give you tips to having the best solo cruise ever. See you next time. So give me your all, I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh, I'll stick like glue